right, so we're back to cover paste into. Paste into is found under edit, paste special, paste into. Uh, it's grayed out right now because we don't have anything to paste into. So if I select this gradient right here, and then I go to my selection, I've saved this selection right here. Right, as you can see, if I hit Q, this is what my selection looks like. So what I want to do, I want to paste this into my selection. That way I can use the transform tool to modify my gradient. So I'm going to go to edit, paste, special, paste into. And as you can see, the gradient got pasted inside of my selection. We can do that with textures, we can do that with photographs, anything that you want. And now when I use the transform tool and I adjust the gradient to match, I can warp my gradient tool to adjust to the shape. And I can even make certain areas smaller so that the gradient matches the imaginary shape of our object. And again, I can continue doing this throughout the design. Like so. And because this gradient right here is inside of a selection. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more in this case. You will notice that I'm able to adjust it and not worry about my selection coming out of the image. like so. I can then use the uh, smudge tool at a higher percentage, reduce my brush and there we are. So this is a great tool to use to paste colors, objects, textures and all sorts of elements inside of a specific selection.